Why did the donut go to the dentist to get a filling? <laughs> Hi, y'all. Who's in the mood for some donuts? Well, stay tuned as we take a look back at the shop, Missy's Voodoo Donut Shop. everyone welcome back to another throwback thursday today we're taking a nostalgic trip back to one of my favorite creations in planet coaster missy's voodoo donuts this shop was made for a shop contest in channel 5 gaming back in march of 2021 let's take a look at it on the timeline Inspiration for Missy's Voodoo Donuts came from the dope as fuck real life Voodoo Donuts shops in Oregon and LA. Voodoo Donuts has a chain of shops throughout the US. I wanted to capture that same quirky fun and slightly eerie vibe they have. Here are some of the images I used as inspiration to recreate the shop in Plainco. I was quite charmed when I had the chance to visit the one in Portland and I still have my pink box using it to store my craft supplies in it. <laughs> I've wanted to do a project bringing Voodoo Donuts to life in a game and the contest was the perfect opportunity to do just that. And of course, who can talk about donuts without mentioning some funny memes? Donuts have a special place in our hearts, just like Homer Simpson's love for them. <laughs> I tried to recreate the iconic pink box of Voodoo Donuts right down to the logo and motto. With the incredible talents of Anne Angelineer, we adapted it to feature Missy Goods instead. Check out these custom images, the menu, and artwork. Angelineer created for this project. Wow. 
by having his adaptation of the Voodoo Donut logo incorporating Misty Goods, I was able to then recreate the image in basic shapes and tiny pieces for the logo on the box. And I did the same thing for the sides of the boxes, trying to get every detail of the boxes. It definitely proved challenging at times. I was struggling with the hands, trying to make them look just like the images, and nothing worked until I came across Red Dragon and Tree Blue's TMTK hands. These hands literally helped sell this. Since then, I used those hands with my basic shape characters. It was a true gem to find. Angela and Ear tweaked the menu you see from the original. While we kept some of the original funny menu items, we also incorporated a specialty section of donuts inspired from Channel 5 Gaming's Missy Goods Mod Squad that had Chant, Floss, and Fua in it, along with a special donut for Angela Nier and myself, included as a little Easter egg and tie-in to the server. They're oh, and amazing. the custom menu? I bet oh, wait, wait, wait. The Fua, what's that? What? Fua donut? There's like donuts for it on the bottom left. The, the chat. The, the chat is a glade donut filled with peanut butter, chocolate frosting, and our peanut butter cups. I am jealous. Why does Jack get the good one? <laughs> The Floss the Lavender Rose Cake Donut with crystallized <laughs> pink sugar crystals sprinkled on top. The Fua Red Velvet Cake Donut with cream cheese frosty sprinkled chocolate chips. Mmm. The uh, Angela Lanier uh, Anime Space Sugar Fairy Dust comes with a marzipan feather. Oh, my dad anime loves spice? marzipan. <laughs> the Smiling, a whipped cream filled donut topped with lemon curd and a big smile. Oh, that's great. Mm. All the Missies are yeah. included on the board. I love that. <laughs> While it was missed in the contest, Angela Nier also incorporated a shout out to King Coaster on the menu, along with Johnny Five in the beverage section. This creation wouldn't be what it was without the amazing talents of Angela Nier. By this time on my Planko journey, Angela Nier and I had been collaborating on a few other projects between this and Avatar. The Last Airbender. It's always a pleasure to be able to work with him in creating things in the Theme Maker Toolkit items that are just really hard to do otherwise. Speaking of TMTK creations, while I was hesitant of having an encore of too much TMTK for a project, this contest was a blueprint contest, meaning that it couldn't go over 4,000 pieces. So, to custom make a lot of things in game eats up your piece count. To also capture the vibe of the real life shop, I used potion bottles, Madame Leota's crystal ball, and Missy Goods t shirts, all of which just add great touches to the shop and our TMTK items as well. I just wish that I had thought to ask Mango to make custom shirts for the shop for the contest. However, I didn't think about this until I was working on Gypsy Gardens when I commissioned Mango to make custom t-shirts from all the shops I had made up to that point. But that's for another video. But here are some pics of the custom shirts that go with the shop. So for anyone still playing Planko that see this, make sure you hit up Mango's workshop to download these shirts as they'll go perfect inside the shop. I'll put links in the description to the shirts and shop too. I wanted to make the shop feel as authentic as possible, so I added cool decor and merchandise that you'd find in the real life shops. There are funny signs like instead of keep Portland weird, we have keep Planko weird and don't miss the Voodoo Missy Donuts doll in front of a coffin. Johnny and Zell really like that touch. <laughs> Can we uh, go in the doors? Ooh, wow, custom. Ooh, Ooh. Voodoo Missy, <laughs> that's freaking creative. 
It took me a total of three out of the four weeks to create this shop for the contest. I was still shy about participating in the contest, but with Lonely Cowboy under my belt, along with Boog's encouragement, I'm glad that I did. It was challenging, but fun to see this metamorphosis from what I envisioned to a reality in the game. And I'm very proud of how the shop did in the contest. It was up against some amazing creations for my expert bracket that I was in. And it really tickled me to see and hear the reactions as they explored the shop in the live stream. From what I remember, this submission was barely away from being in the top three, which really made me proud of my efforts on this and that people enjoyed it. And even Johnny said he voted for it or was going to vote for it. So that really tickled me and gave me a bit of uh, redemption right there. I got to say, this, this gets the less is more award because when you first look at it, you go, boom, it's a one by one shop almost, or maybe mm -hmm. it, it's a small one. But there are <laughs> so much going on here. And then like the little voodoo artwork on the side. I mean, it's beautiful. This is my favorite yeah. small shop so far, I'd have to say. Yeah. Well, I really love it too. This project was so much fun to work on, and I'm thrilled with how it turned out. Huge thanks to Channel 5 Gaming for the contest. Boog encouraging me to take part in the contest, my family for their support, and to Anne Angelinier for their amazing custom TMTK work. If you enjoyed this throwback, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Planet Coaster fun. And remember, keep Plinko weird. <laughs> Peace, love, and blessed be. Bye, y'all.